how to make a do-it-yourself water filtration unit with Let's Talk Science Guelph. First, what you will need is an empty water bottle. You'll need to cut the water ball in half to separate the top from the bottom. It should look something like this. Be sure to ask an adult for help because some plastics are quite hard and can be tough to cut through. The part with the mouthpiece will be our filter and the bottom part will hold our water. Cover the mouthpiece of the water bottle with coffee filters and secure it with an elastic band. I use three coffee filters here. Now we're ready to assemble our filter. Add some cotton to the bottom of the filtration unit. I use two cotton pads or makeup remover pads, but you can also use cotton balls or even gauze. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of sand, now gravel, and some bigger rocks on top. I grabbed all of these materials from the dollar store. Put the filter unit on top of the bottom half of the water bottle and grab some dirty water. I mix some soil in my backyard with some tap water. Make sure to wash your hands after because soil has microorganisms in it. Now, let's see how well our filtration units work. It might be best to put a paper towel underneath in case you accidentally spill. Gently pour the dirty water over top of the unit and let's see what happens. If you're interested in seeing the flow rate of your unit, measure the amount of water you're putting in and how long it will take for the water to travel through. Here's a short clip that shows what my filtration unit looks like. Ta-da! Here's the final product. Not bad. The water still looks a little dirty, but it's definitely cleaner than before. Although the water may look clean, it's important that you do not drink it as it may contain bacteria and other microscopic organisms that can still make you sick. So how did all the rocks, gravel, and sand clean the water? Well, what we did was pass the water through a permeable substrate. Permeability measures how easily a liquid can pass through a substance. All the materials that we used form permeable layers in our filtration unit. When the rock, gravel, and grains of sand were close together, they formed tiny, tiny spaces in between them. The dirt got trapped in all of these little spaces while the water flowed right through. Look at all the dirt trapped in the various components of our filtration unit. Did you try this experiment? Tag us on social media to let us know how it went. If you're interested in other science content, go to letstalkscience.ca.